Okay, we are back, everyone. This is going to be the final episode of Bastion, I am pretty sure. It's time to go finally fix the calamity. It's hard to sleep easy these days. What with everything that's happened. I probably just went back to one of these things. Zolf, very soon the kid's gonna have to face that man again for the last time. Oh, I figured I did this. Who knows where? This is for money and stuff. I should just uh, leave. So I won't stay and waste our time on this. I got plenty of money. day is Ulf's life. There in the hanging gardens, he aimed to throw it all away. Okay, I guess I can't just leave. Maybe this is what I have to do for the last stage? Well, we'll do it. It's a story. If I stay alive, that is. It wasn't the first time Zolf had nothing to lose. He was born to a simple Ura couple who didn't last long before plague took him. He grew up hungry in the tunnels of the Tassel terminals. So he took the stealing from a Ceylonian missionary living there. He once got sloppy with his thieving hands. The missionary caught him, but didn't rat him out. Instead, he offered to take him in. That missionary raised Zolf like a gentleman, like he was his own son. Taught him theology, history, and mercy. Fifteen reflections, jeez. Zolf started teaching the missionaries wisdom to any Ura who would listen. And listen they did. He 
advocated tolerance and argued that the Ur should atone for the war. He believed the city had much to teach his people. However, Zoe felt he could only do so much in the Tassel terminals. He needed Ceylandia to know the era had changed. He decided to do what the missionary did many years before. He left the city of his youth to brave a savage land. The journey was hard, but he knew how to fend for himself. And then at last, Zolf saw the rippling walls on the horizon. Oh. It's all right. Dang it. It's like if you're being greedy. He endeared himself to city folk straight away, and in turn he fell in love with the city and its people. One in particular. This young lady was fascinated by the Ura, but she never met anyone like Zolf. She told him she knew all the city's best kept secrets. <laughs> Gardens was their favorite spot. It was there that Zolf clasped her hands and proposed in proper Ceylandian style. He celebrated with his friends long into the night. Joy and revelry like he'd never seen. Too bad he couldn't remember it all. <laughs> Woke up alone underground inside the Ura Ceylandian War Memorial, built like an Ura den. But something was wrong. <laughs>
emerged from that hole in the ground into a waking nightmare. Everything that wasn't gone was twisted upside down. What few faces he saw on the street stared back at him with gray and vacant eyes. out to her, she joined with all the ashes in the sky. So Zolf returned to where he proposed in the hanging gardens, and there he stood, as if the gods would answer him. So now we know the story behind Zolf and why he hates everybody. Kid's gonna be okay. As for that man, who knows? I could cut that and make it an episode, but I'm just gonna tie this all together into one big final episode. Just a short bit of post commentary. The final episode would have been 45 minutes long if I didn't cut. So instead of having it all in one chunk, I did cut off that little flashback that we just did into its own episode. So there is one more episode coming up. It is the final episode, so check it out, and I'll see you guys there.